Okay, now we're on to the example five, standardized test practice. A rectangle's length is 13 meters more than three times its width. The area is 10 square meters. What is the width? And they give us a choice of A, two thirds meters, B, three meters, C, five meters, D, 10 meters. First off, noticing the problem that they never tell us what the width is. So we say that the width is equal to W. They do tell us what the length is. They say the length is 13 more than three times the width. So three times W plus 13. And we know that the area of a rectangle is area is equal to length times width. Well, since the length is 3W plus 13, we write that in place of L. And W, once again, is W. We can rewrite this in such, such a way that you're more familiar with. That is, with the W in front, followed by what's in the parentheses. And from there, we go from uh, here to where they are in the actual problem. So now we have the actual problem, W times 3W plus 13 is equal to 10. All right, we're gonna do two things at one time here. First, we're gonna apply the distributive property. W times W is 3W squared. W times 13 is 13W. And that minus 10, that comes about because, don't forget, we gotta say minus 10 here and minus 10 on that side, all right? And that's how that 10 gets over there because 10 minus 10 is zero. And of course, this 10 can't be combined with anything yet because it's in the, with anything because nothing matches up with it. Okay, now that we have this, now we are ready to factor. So we set up our square. Okay, after set up our, setting up our square, we know that the first term, 3w squared, goes there. The last term, negative 10, goes there. We multiply both. 3w squared times a negative 10 will give us a negative 30. Now we write down all our factors for 30, not worrying about the negative yet. So 30 times 1, 2 times 15, 3 times 10, 5 times 6. Then we ask ourselves, okay, which one of these combinations, if I were to add or subtract, would give me a positive 13? And I noticed that 3 and 10 can give me a 13, and also 5 minus 2 can give me a 13. Okay, so, but here, in order for this to come out to be correct for 13, that means this has to be negative and this has to be negative. And a negative 3 times a negative 10 would give me a positive 30 and not a negative 30. So then that tells me that, that more than likely my answer has to be 2 and 15. The 15 being positive and the 2 being negative. 15 minus 2 would give me a positive 13, and 15 times a negative 2 would give me a negative 30. All right, so now we're ready to begin factoring. So we're going to fill in. I'm going to put a negative 2w here and a positive 15w there. Okay, so let's factor going down first. I got 3w squared and a 2w. The greatest common factor is just going to be W. I got a 15W and a negative 10. The greatest common factor is going to be 5. I got a 3W squared and a 15W. The greatest common factor is going to be 3W. And now I got a negative 2W and a negative 10. The greatest factor is going to be a negative 2. So I have my factors. 3W minus 2. That's that. And I have W plus 5. That's that. Now we set them equal to 0, as usual. So using the zero product property, we got that W plus 5 is equal to 0. When we solve this for W, we end up with a negative 5. Don't forget, minus 5, minus 5. The 5's right there cancel out. And 0 minus 5 is equal to a negative 5. And we got 3W minus 2 is equal to 0. We add two to both sides. All right, your two is canceled out. So then we end up with three W is equal to two. We divide both sides by three and we end up with W equal in two thirds. That's a two thirds. 
And we already know from previous lessons to reject the negative with, because with cannot be negative. So our answer has to be W is equal to 2 over 3, which would be choice A.